Leshens, man. Insane beasts. Count Romilly's journal. And a tarnished key. Wait, isn't... Isn't Romilly the one that owned the... Figurine? Yes. Hold on. A pox upon Anastasia von Burman. A pox upon her whole plowing house. I finally found a way to end this deadly little charade she's put on. The key to unraveling the riddle lay in a dusty old tomb in my library. That little vipress was marked by a lesion. That is why the monster attacked my castle. There was only one way out of this situation. I snuck up while she slept and throttled her. She didn't even manage to peep. Now I can finally leave my castle walls, thank the gods. The monstrosity has skirted off into oblivion along with that accursed child. That entire affair was a horrific error. I'm just glad the savings from previous missions are safely preserved in the castle treasury. I must recruit some mage, perhaps, that will ensure I avoid such incidents in the future. Okay. You know damn rights we're searching this castle. Count Romilly's castle. And this is gonna have to have something to do with that figurine, I'm sure. Just burning. Hello. Let's get a little torch going. where we need to go. Not sure if this is where I want to go. Ah, uh, here's the first part of his journal. Entries in chronological order. <laughs> chronological order, the last few pages missing or torn out. This craft has proved even more profitable than I had anticipated. Five of the last seven kidnappings ended in success. Only two of the lads had fathers too miserly to ransom their sons. Clearly was more offspring where those came from, so the calculating knaves deem the capturing snots expendable. Note for the future, demand a significantly smaller ransom from clients with more than one male heir. <laughs> I sent the lads after Anastasia von Berman, the lord of Zutzer Castle, a magnificently wealthy noble, and Anastasia is his only child. I smell a lucrative transaction. The lads return with the client's daughter that very night. The girl is calm, apathetic even. Something strange is afoot in the castle surroundings. Flocks of ravens perch in the trees bordering the courtyard. This morning, a new contingent flew in. Two serving maids have gone missing. Could my lads have been responsible, or did the ravens peck them to death? Here's a giant ink blot. Oh, a giant ink blot covers half the page. One of my grooms has died. From what the remaining servants recount, he was killed by the tree roots that suddenly thrust straight out of the ground. A lesson. My men are petrified. Howls, wolves howl day and night in the land surrounding the estate. Leaving the castle walls means certain death. We have barricaded ourselves inside and live as if under siege. Luckily, we have ample supplies of food and water. Perhaps this is some kind of curse. Franz, the servant who led the unit that kidnapped Anastasia, was hanged himself. Black magic is surely at work. I must search the castle library for some indication what this might be. Oh, here we go. Leather scraps, black unicorn. That's a throwback, no? Is 
Isn't the black unicorn a sword? Yeah. Using fighting humans. Oh, that's amazing. Level 46. That's pretty cool. Let's look at what else is down here. There's another room. Whoa, fuck! It scared the hell out of me. We should be using Spectre Oil in this scenario. Jeez. And now we have a ransom letter. To the Right Honorable Raphael von Bormann, Lord of Zutzer Castle. It's probably the other guy's letter that he wrote. Uh, we wish to reassure you, my dear sir, that your daughter is in the flower of good health. She will continue to enjoy said health, provided her father acts according to our instructions. They are as follows. In six days, at the exact stroke of midnight, you, sir, are to present yourself in person outside the cursed chapel near Brunwich in order to hand over a ransom in the amount of 1,000 unshaven Novograd crowns. You are to sound no alarm and come alone, with no guards nor or retainers of any sort. I trust we needn't add that any failure to follow these instructions will result in an immediate and proportionate decline in the young and beautiful Lady Berman's health. My best wishes to you, sir. That's very... very well written. I must say. So we've kind of got the full picture there. That's very interesting. Now, we were coming out here for a different reason originally. And that's to go and find this guy's apprentice. Okay, Roach, I'll tell you what. I'll come a bit lower. Okay, let's find some tracks, shall we? Oh. Oh. Oh, are you serious? Check the perimeter. Oh, we have something obviously right in front of where we stopped. That's fantastic. Herbalist's cart. Got some blood here. Let's do it. Blood. Dried. A few days old. Heard. Trail's gone cold. Need to look around. Ask. Maybe someone's seen him. 
Okay, we can do that, but it doesn't look very inhabited. Oh, we've got a few people here. Judd, sharp now. <laughs> We're company. What's brought you to these parts, master? Lost your way? Not quite. No, looking for someone. Ah, do tell. Perhaps we can help. What is this place exactly? It seems. A village? Plain to no, see. there's something else happening Abandoned here. Abandoned huts is about all I see. Aye, it's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work, and the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. Looking for someone named Fulkert. Light-haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye. Saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm-hmm. Till he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. It is just as you say. Wolves had attacked him. He fled here seeking shelter. I told him, back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was stubborn. Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Ventured back into the woods. And that were the last of him. Heard howling that night. Sent shivers down my spine. So where are his remains? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. Didn't go looking. But he's too old to go tramping about in the woods. Uh-huh. So long. So I guess we'll take that info back to the herbalist. I don't know why we couldn't go and... I guess we would just be looking randomly. If we did want to check it out ourselves. Get up. I mean, he's not gonna like this. Uh, I assume he's not gonna say, oh, okay, well, no problem. Oh, how did we miss that? Oh! Your ass head, right, too. They can handle a necker, right? I better help them. <laughs> Team effort. Team effort. Beaver, booger me. You guys can even keep his carcass for dinner. Faster. Don't ever say I wasn't generous. There's some runes up there. Oh, wait a second. That's right, we have the Ophiri gear stuff that we can still look for. Bloody fight looks like. Folk in the tavern didn't stand a chance. Tracks and we just north. happened to stumble on it. We only need two more. Trail's more pieces. gone cold. Mm -hmm. Need to look around. See if I can pick it up again. Someone was wounded. Started bleeding heavily. Wonder what this means. Hmm. Took means a he's dead. Hostage, I guess. Blood trails the hostages. Must have been a burden if they left him here to die. Lost the trail. Got to look around for something else. Perimeter scan. Not seeing much. Oh, here we go. Is this the same? I think this is the same one that we came in on. Yeah, it is.
found Here it. Here we go. Leads this way. Oh, look at this little hideout. Are you kidding? Just a random hatch. Trail ends here. Hmm. Dirt and ground cover concealing a hatch. Secret passageway. Going in. Pretty sure we're not going to be welcome here. Nope. Shouldn't have done it. Stuck back here. That'll do. Come on. I know what's in here. Armor diagram. Hello. And a letter with orders. Adandith. While it looks nice. Rob, I've given you a whole month and nothing. No progress. Diagrams are just as damn incomprehensible as when you started. So that's it. Enough fucking around. You're to do the following. Keep one diagram and stare at it till you hit on something and send the rest to the other camps. Maybe some of the lads there, or maybe some of the lads there ain't quite so dense and will manage to translate those damn scratchings into something we can use. Those alchemists in camp by the bee yard have spent most of their lives poring over books, so send on, send on of the drawings to them. Send a second to the band that occupies the brick ruins by the lake. One of the lads there was supposed to be ordained a reverend. He knows strange tongues. As to our transfer base in the bogs near the abandoned village, a lad there was formerly a library's assi or librarian's assistant. Send him the third diagram. Ulrich. P.S. For inspiration, try your hand at translating this. Rob, can me abeth ep ars? I think he called him an idiot. <laughs> or an ass. That was a cool little geek. Detour that we stumbled on. Roach is looking pretty good, I gotta say. Vic Watchtower. Okay, we've been here.
Nice little ride through the midnight forest. I've got bad news. But I have a feeling you're not going to accept it. Volkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. You may want to sit. Found some witnesses. Claim wolves attacked him. He survived at first, then went back in the woods to harvest more herbs. His luck ran out. Ah. A treasure, that lad. Dutiful. Mannered. Such a shame. Well, here's your gold. Trust it will serve you well. I'm actually surprised that that's all he needs from us. I I truly thought that. Yeah, it's weird. And plus, there's like another little. We have a little icon for another herbalist hey here. Let's try and cheer you up, and I'll beat you in some Gwent. Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. Alright, let's try... Let's try a different deck. Let's see how the monster deck works for us. I honestly don't think it's gonna work that well. We don't have enough cards. Like, multiple cards. But you know what? We'll give it a shot. We'll throw a couple decoys in there, just in case. And... We have a Scorch. You can throw a Commander's Horn in. See what happens. He's got a Squirtle text deck, so he's gonna go first. Dandy, Botchling, Vampires, that's good. We've got three Vampires, Leshen, the Toad. Range combat, we can destroy when played. This is good. We'll switch out the uh, botchling. Nice. Take the elf. And. Switch out dandelion. Alright. Not bad. You've got some protection there. I'm just trying to decide. Here, let's throw our Frightener out. Let's just kind of bait him and see if he'll be willing to pass on the first round here. Not quite. Okay, let's throw down Imlarith. Hey, he's still going. He's already getting quite low on cards. I realize playing all our special cards early is a bit risky. But if we can whittle them down this much, I mean... Let's play this, that's gonna get rid of two of his. He's gonna, yeah, he's got no choice. I'll take it. And the Frightener stayed. Alright. Now we just go for the win.
We have Ericus and we've got the, um, our Arachnus. Am I saying this right? Ericus, yeah. Ah, uh, but... That's right. That's gonna be a problem, isn't it? We can pick any weather card. And play it instantly. What do we do, though? You know what? Let's... Let's do this. Can I not? Well, I bet you I don't even... Do I not have any weather cards? That could be why I can't even play this. Um... Yeah, I can't even play it. I mean, we still have a chance at winning this, actually. Yeah, we got it. You just ran too low on cards. But yeah, we really... Not having, like, a clear weather... ...in that deck could be really damaging. Good game. I wonder what he gave us. Elven Skirmisher. The Skirmishers are decent. Gaunter's in there. I wonder why this Gaunter Odim Darkness card is not in the monster deck. Or maybe it is. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Good round. I feel like something weird with that last quest that we did, honestly. Okay. Time for Witcher Seasonings. We just gotta find out where this cook is. And I guess we could probably just jump in there. Also looks like there's something going on that we don't know about. It was right over here. That's strange. Wonder if it's like a time of day thing. I'm gonna go back to night. Yeah, absolutely. Check this out. Could be nothing, but it could be something. Leave with me, you breath. Oh, the stench of rotted teeth and thunk. Oh, leave her alone. Why is that? She's being accosted. Wants to play on you, is that it? Doable, but you'll have to hide that mug in a sec. Piss off before I kick your asses. We'll see who kicks whose ass. All right. Get him, lads. That's how it's gonna be. Job. Oh, and I'm going to have to use Come my on. fists. One hit and he's down, I think. Okay, fine. Okay, I shouldn't just think it's going to be as easy. I'd have managed on my own, but thank you. Uh huh. You'd have managed it? Managed those men by yourself? Of course. Knee to the bollocks, elbow to the throat. Job <laughs> done. Self defense classes 101. Walk you home? Hey now. I'm grateful, sure, but I'll not demonstrate that in the alcove. I had no Walk intentions. You home, that's it. Hmm. In that case, yes. Come. Where do you want to go? Looks like rain. Master Witcher, do you always help folk for free? Sometimes for free, usually for pay. 
Phew. I was afraid you were abnormal. <laughs> uh, no. Not quite. You choked to death on three pounds of steel. What is it? Here you it tell is. me. Really, you needn't have troubled yourself. Might be right, but these days, better safe than sorry. Take care of yourself. Oh! I, I know what could have happened there, I think. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll tell you what. Um... We have a lot of people to recruit before we do our heist, which is pretty exciting. Um, I think we'll start with richer seasonings, but uh, we'll take a break here. When we come back, we'll go in and find this cook, and then we'll find the safe cracker and person to scale the wall. And then we can take part in our heist. Should be fun. See you guys then. Bye.